becoming a regional centre. Once foreign participation is widespread in the market, it can expand to a regional centre by establishing itself as a gateway through which investors can access other markets in the region. Investment in infrastructure is needed to improve connectivity to existing financial centres in the region. Financial market infrastructure meets international standards and is starting to develop links with the infrastructure of other regional centres. A high level of education combined with low immigration barriers provide a highly specialised local labour pool. Development into a truly international financial centre occurs through an increasing critical mass of businesses, or clustering. Attracting a greater range of firms will help this process. Becoming an international financial centre International financial centres are characterised by a large clustering of varied financial market participants and related firms, providing high-quality support services and by extensive connectivity to other centres. There is substantial support for the financial and professional services industry from government and strong corporate relationships exist between the industry and regulators combined with a high technical standard of regulation. A large local labour pool and flexible employment legislation allows firms to expand and the centre is open to a highly skilled and mobile international workforce. Global transactions can be conducted easily due to electronic trading systems and remote access to financial markets. Deep market liquidity will be developed from a wide range of international financial firms. Although it's not a straightforward formula for development, these are some of the key features that financial centres have in common as they develop. Together, these factors give confidence to market participants and support financial centres as they prosper.